Changing rifles again, 2021. Am I crazy? Yes, I am. Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. So, I looked at all my old videos. One of the things that happened, I had really good luck with a 30 on 6 Forbes 24B. And on my sheep hunt two years ago, I dropped it. Cracked the stock. I can't get it shooting like it did again. So, that's a project gun. So, I thought, I started once again on the on the sheep fitness uh, quest, sort of a fitness program, seven pounds. I'm uh, still I'm at 280. My goal was 240 in four months. That's 10 pounds a month, and uh, then losing weight throughout the season. And I had the hankering for uh, lighter weight or rifles I could find. You know what? In my retirement, I'm doing pretty good financially. And I have bought a Weatherby. And this Weatherby has come from Prophet River, my favorite, my favorite dealer in Canada, from Lloyd Minster. And uh, it is a backcountry tie. This is the first time I've looked, looked at it. It came with some lightweight tally rings. These are the low rings, one inches, because I'm going to go with a light Leopold scope. I see people buying these light, light rifles and then putting a 30 millimeter, uh, 30 ounce scope on it. Doesn't make any sense to me. I'm going to go with a Leopold. And uh, oh my God, here it is. So this is a titanium action rifle. It's got a super tiny little bore on it. And I thought long and hard about the caliber of this rifle. So this is a 4.9 pound rifle. We'll shortly we'll put it on the scale and see how close they are. This is a 280 Acme Improved. I thought of the 6.5 RPM. That's a great caliber. But the 280 Acme Improved is a, just simply a a tremendous, uh, you know, just like a seven millimeter Magnum, uh, like a light seven mm Magnum. And the seven millimeter Magnum, uh, you know, in the old days, seven millimeter rem mag took over from the 264 Winchester for a reason. There's no replacement for displacement. And I think seven millimeter is a good uh, place to start. So this is super lightweight. We'll take out the bolt. I've had it already pre-looked at for feeding. It's supposed to feed like a son of a gun. This is the six lug action. So it's a very, it's a little smaller action, a little smaller bolt than the uh, nine lug action. This is made for 30 odd six class of cartridges. And we'll figure out how to put that in. There it goes. A little bit worried about a gritty bolt, but that is not a gritty bolt. Very, very short bolt action. Um, so there is a very, very light rifle. It's got this uh, 3D printed super, super uh, cushy uh, butt pat. Um, right now it has the cap on it, but it comes with a, uh, a beautiful little light uh, um, recoil reducer brake on the front. So that is a very, very nice looking rifle. It carries four rounds. Uh, we'll put it on a scale here and I'll come back. Okay, let's get to the right units here. Four pounds, 14 ounces. So that's pretty much as advertised. It's the first rifle I've ever owned that's under five pounds. Four pounds, 14 ounces. In the 280 Ackley Improved, four round uh, magazine, full length barrel, unbelievable. Uh, Weatherby has really outdone themselves. Carbon fiber stock, titanium action, very lightweight fluted barrel. Uh, 
This titanium action is probably about the same weight as the 24 ounce Forbes 24B. Uh, it's a little more substantial of an action, but it's in titanium. So that's, uh, that's four pound 14 ounces. And let's add the rings. And then I've got an 11 ounce scope I'm gonna put on it. So the rings takes it to five pounds. Then I put an 11 ounce scope on it. I'll be at about five pounds, 12 ounces, five pounds, 11 ounces, all in. You're not gonna get a whole lot lighter than that. Now the next question is, will she shoot? Too idiotically improved? Uh, stay tuned. Okay, so how did this all work out? So I put on a two, just over two ounce strap made from a guy in Alaska. I'm gonna talk about that strap at some point in the future. Leopold very X or Leupold very X two, three to nine with the Canadian CDS on it. I'm going to test this out and see if the CDS works. A lot of people on the forum say that their loophole tracking is not what it should be. Anyway, the weight's five pounds, 14 ounces. Each round is an ounce or so. This is a 162 grain Hornaday Precision Hunter. Pretty pricey, but uh, you know, you get what you can get these days. So five pounds, 14 ounces with strap, scope, that's a light scope. I can also try this very X3. This very X3 adds about another ounce. That's a 3.5 to 10 by 40. And with the lens covers, I'm still at 515. 15 or with this little guy, I'm at 515, 17, which is probably the way I'll roll. So I'm still under six pounds. Now I'll be an ounce or so over with four rounds of ammo. Let's see how that works. Put the four rounds of ammo on there. And we're at about six pounds, two ounces, six pounds, 2.75 ounces. So that's a nice, not a bad little uh, rig to carry. And that's why I also put on the muzzle brake. And the muzzle brake adds almost nothing because I think that's a titanium muzzle brake. So, wow. Pretty good. Under six pounds, scoped. Five pounds, 14 ounces, scoped and slinged.